What's going on everybody? Shadow Trucker. Today is January 4th and I'm over in Riverdale, Illinois at one of RTI's, well not RTI's drop lots, but it's a drop lot that RTI utilizes. Um, today we're going to go over the pay, or, or at least the lease purchase side of the house. I'm going to take a view or a look at some of my settlement sheets that I got for the last three weeks. Now, I did go on vacation for two weeks, which is, you know, why I've been a little gone. Uh, took a vacation, went to go see the family, let them meet the little guy over the holidays since they haven't met him yet. Uh, I meant to get this video done before I went on vacation, but when I got home, it was a little late. I had to pack everything, go to sleep, wake up early next morning, and hit the road. It was a 13-hour drive. So, I'm not going to cover company driver pay this time like I did with... Um, Land air, just because I don't have the information for that one. All I can let you know is, you know, like I did in the other video, you you will make somewhere between fifty cents and seventy two cents a mile. Local drivers, you can make cent per mile, but you're probably going to make hourly more than anything, just because you're you're local. You're within a certain little tiny radius. Um, and it all depends on what account you're on, you know, where you live, everything like that. Now, as far as lease purchase drivers go, ours is completely different. We make anywhere from a dollar five to a dollar twenty one cents or sorry, a dollar three, I think, to a dollar twenty one cents a mile. Um <clears throat> now most of my stuff, because of where I live, it's a dollar five cents per mile, but you get the bonuses which allow you to make up to that dollar twenty one cents a mile. That's a military bonus, an on time bonus, and I believe the other one is like you've been available the whole week, you haven't damaged anything. That's your other bonus. Those three bonuses can get you up to a dollar twenty one cents per mile. Actually, sorry, I don't think the military one's part of that. I think there's a third one for that. I can't remember what it is. But the military one is another bonus. And that just basically starts you out making... Uh, if you're a company driver, you make one cent per mile more than the other drivers in your uh, orientation that are going to be starting out. And then if you're a lease purchase driver, you're going to start out making three cents more than all the other lease purchase drivers that are coming through orientation with you that aren't military. Now, my pay is going to be drastically different for each of the three settlement sheets that I show you. And that's because the very first settlement sheet, they didn't take out the truck payment, the maintenance pan plan payment, or the second escrow account. And you know, I thought something I thought something was messed up with that. That's actually what they do. The very first week they don't take those three payments away from you. Or out of your paycheck. Just to if you excuse me. That's just to get you um Start off on the right foot, you have some money in your bank account, a good, good chunk of money. The second week, I only worked a portion of the week. I worked Wednesday through Saturday or Sunday, uh, so that was a short week, shorter pay, and I did some other stuff that'll show you why that pay was short. And then the third week, I was on vacation that whole week, so I made zero for mileage, but I still had to pay some deductions. <clears throat> so we're going to cover all of that. All right, let's go and do. Okay, so this one is my very first paycheck with the company. <clears throat> now, all of your stuff will have your load numbers on the sides for each of the loads you do. That's how you'll know what these breakdowns are for. Tell you know where you're going, uh, advance on bonus mileage, uh, your fuel surcharge, that's what they're going to pay you per mile for fuel. And then you have your mileage pay, your bonus mileage pay, which is, you know, the military one, your other bonus mileage pay, which is the on-time one, you know, same thing down there. There is another one, but I can't remember what it's called, but it does show somewhere else. Um, then you have, you know, just city to city, city to city, you know, your fuel surcharge, your mileage pay, all that stuff. So, for these two sections over here, you have your empty miles and your loaded miles, the rate you were paid at, and then, you know, what that amount was. So, and then whatever... There, there was something else, but I can't remember what it is. Okay. So anyways, you got your empty miles, you know, or sorry, yeah, empty miles, but your advance on your bonus stuff. So that's eight cents a mile, 35 cents a mile for your fuel surcharge, a dollar five for your mileage pay, three cents per mile for your on, or sorry, military service bonus. And then your on time load bonus is going to be 6 0.063 cents per mile. Um, another advance, fuel surcharge, mileage, military, and advance again. And then at the end of each one of them, they tell you 
what your total empty miles were, your total loaded miles, and the pay you made for that. It's going to do the same thing for each one of your loads, and it's not going to be different. Nothing will be different about any of it. So the next load was, you know, 507 empty, one, or sorry, 507 loaded, one empty, $800. I'm not very good at this whole pointing the pen thing. Um, and then your next one, same thing, your bonuses, your mileage, your fuel surcharge crap. 92 miles empty, 984 loaded, $1,700 for that one. And then you have... This is your bonus, your actual sign-on bonus. Now, not everybody's going to get the same bonus. Some people won't even get a bonus. For me, I got the $5,000 one, which everybody else in my orientation did also. We get paid $500 a week for the first 10 weeks we work for the company. After that, you know, this won't be on there anymore. So there's $500. And then right here, it gives you your total miles and your earnings. So total, we had 268 miles. Well, I don't know why I said we. Um, loaded miles was 2,421 and my total mileage was 2,689 for the week. That grossed out at 4,989.80. Now don't think that's you know normal. Like I said, you have the $500 bonus in there, so it's really going to be 4,489.80. And then this is where your fuel reimbursements are. You know, $57 for fuel reimbursements. Um, there, there, you got more than that. But then you come down and you have your uh, your ex your expense reimbursements, and then you got your deductions and everything else in here too. So you have there you go. Here's all your deductions now. You got your fuel purchases, your com data miscellaneous purchases, with well, just something to do with your fuel. Uh, I can't remember what it is, but it, you know it's not very high at all, so you don't really got to fret about it. Eleven dollars. Don't. It's yeah. Um, I know it's to deal with your fuel. Though. I just can't remember what because I don't buy anything else with my com data card except for fuel. That's all your normal stuff for your fuel up there. Now, for your deductions that you're going to have every week are right here, minus this escrow fund. Your base So even if you go on vacation, you're going to pay for your base plates, your physical uh, damage insur insurance, or sorry, your fixed physical damage insurance, your fixed bobtail insurance below that, your occupational accidental insurance, your fixed highway use tax, your fuel tax expense. Uh, sorry, your fuel tax expense won't always be on there either. Well, no, no, no yes, it will. Sorry. Um, your pre-pass, and you're not paying, like, to use the toll roads. You're paying to rent this equipment from RTI because they pay for it. So you know you pay three seventy-eight for that. It's a fixed fee. It's not per mile. Same thing with all the rest of these. It's all a fixed fee, except for the uh, fuel tax expense because you're paying per mile for that one. But that's stupid cheap. You know, thirty-four dollars to charge it point zero one three cents a mile. Um, and then the bottom one, same thing with the satellite communication unit. That's, you know, your Omnitracks, your tablet, whatever the heck you have in your truck. We run tablets. So you're paying to rent that equipment also, and that one is a fixed flat fee also. Now, as far as this escrow account goes up here, that's another $75 that will go back into your account at the end of 10 weeks. They take $75 a week for the first 10 weeks to get $750 into an escrow account. Um, what's not showing on here, like I said, for the first week, they don't take out your truck payment. That's not on here. Um, if you're on vacation and you're on the variable payment plan, your truck payment also will not be on here. If you are on the fixed payment plan, your $738 truck payment will be on here even if you're on vacation. The other one I said they don't take out is your maintenance plan just for the first week. <clears throat> and they won't take it out if you're on uh, vacation either on the variable plan because it's you know paid per mile on a variable plan. That is charged at $0.10 cents a mile. The truck payment is charged at $0.30 cents a mile. Both of those rates are for, you know, the variable plan. The fixed payment plan, I'm not sure what your um, maintenance plan costs, but I know your truck payment is going to be $738. And then the other escrow account that will also be added on at the second week is $250 a week, and I believe that one goes for 10 or 12 weeks. Uh, 12 weeks. There we go. Yeah, it's it's uh, $250 for 12 weeks until you get you know the three grand in that escrow account. Once that stops, that $250 will also go back into your account. So at the very bottom, they tell you what your deductions are for that one, for that one, and for that one. So the total deductions without my truck payment, my maintenance plan, and my other escrow account is $1,600 the very first week, which is very nice because I went home with $3,430.57. Now, like I said, you're missing three payments out of there, so that probably realistically would have been about $2,100, 
eighteen to twenty one hundred dollars. My second week is the one where I was going on vacation, so I had way less miles. Um, for this one right here, it was four forty nine loaded, twenty eight empty, made twelve hundred. Uh, but that's you know with the sign on bonus, your advances, the other military bonuses, your fuel surcharge in there. Second one, I made four eighty four. 270 loaded 36 empty same thing um, and then I also had some staging pay for that one uh, I can't remember what that one is I want to say that was the target load because you can't excuse me you can get additional pay for um, unloading so that was 889 31 479 loaded 10 empty and then the total was 646 or sorry uh, 1844 loaded and 305 empty which gave me 2100 miles which was three thousand nine hundred and sixty three dollars you can tell the difference between 2600 and 2100 4900 to 3900 that's the difference in there and then come down and I got my fuel purchases now this is the week where I told you my fuel was gonna be weird so when I went home I went and fueled my truck all the way up just because I wanted to. Now the best way to do it is to not fuel your truck up when you go home because you're not getting a fuel surcharge pay on it until the very next load when you come back on the road. Get you enough fuel in there to get home and still have you know about 20 to 40 gallons in there roughly by the time you park your truck. Some drivers will tell you you know when you get home your truck should be on empty. No. that Can you do that? Yes. But I think that's dumb as hell. Because if something goes wrong when you go to leave your house to go get fuel, if the fuel's too far away, you're not getting fuel and then you just ran your truck dry. Now you gotta wait for somebody to come out and bring you fuel. So I, I fueled mine up, which you know cost, where is it, like 280 or something like that? Yeah, $289.31, so that came out of my check also. All my other deductions came out of here too, so, where, come on, $82 there, $448 there, 126 202 556 and that totaled out for deductions at $1,700. I made $3,100. I only took home $808.30 that week, which, you know, again, I was expecting, so I was fine with it. Now, the second week, this is what I was telling you about. They start taking out this uh, surety reserve, which is the $250 a week for the 10 weeks. That's that other escrow account. Um, and then you have your uh, VAR mileage charge, which is your maintenance plan. 2,149 miles at 10 cents a mile is $214.90. Not that bad. Your variable truck payment, same thing, same mileage, but it's charged at 30 cents. Might as well be 31 cents. Um, and that was $661.89. Now you can tell, you know, based on the mileage, I didn't pay that $738 this week. So, you know, that's a less, less payment than the fixed rate drivers. However, this means I'm going to have to end up paying more later on to get the truck payment under control. So, you know, it's still only that five to six year window to pay it off, which, you know, again, I was expecting, so it's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, all the rest of the stuff is the same. So, you know, uh, deductions. And then the, sorry, that's not total for deductions. That's total for that. This is the total deductions right here, 3155 and this was the total gross what I earned, thirty nine sixty three, and that's how you get that you know lovely eight oh eight thirty that I took home. So again, you know I was ready for that. That was perfectly fine. Just this is what I keep telling you guys. You know, know what you're doing so that you know what to expect down here, and you'll be just fine. Now for this third and final one, this is where I was already on vacation. You know, I was not getting paid because I wasn't getting mileage here. So you can see there's that which is nothing that's <laughs> literally nothing there's no trips there's no mileage there's nothing in here but i do have that sign-on bonus the 500 dollars, which is really nice for when you're on you know vacation right now and then you have your insurance is taken out you know the 75 the 250 the 1135 the six all that stuff this is what'll come out every single week for a fixed uh for the um variable plan there's no truck insurance on here, and there's no maintenance plan on here for deductions because I did not drive. 
this 75 and this 250 will come off at the end of 10 weeks and at the end of 12 weeks and that will go back into my pocket so you actually have to subtract about $315 from this so when you're home you're only paying you know two something it's it's not bad you take off 315 you're at $230.98 but for this since you know I had all this stuff and those are both on there I owed 545.98 in deductions I only made $500 for my bonus which means I was negative 4598 now the way they correct this is when you come back to work your very next paycheck they will take this out of it to get you back into the green so what I did to um, counter that is when I got back this week I called payroll, you know, just to make sure they would take that out of my very next paycheck for me to get it back in the green. And I also asked them to uh, start a personal, personal escrow account for me, which I highly suggest everybody does if you're coming to RTI. The personal escrow account, I uh, opted to put $150 in there a week, which is somewhere around $72 to $7,500 a year. Um, that way, whenever I go on vacation next time, I can just call payroll and go, hey, you know, for the normal deductions, go ahead and just pull it out of my escrow account, plus the, you know, a seven fifty eight hundred dollars for a truck payment. You know, I don't have to do that because the truck payment will just keep coming out as I do the mileage. But if I do that, you know, it keeps my payments ahead of schedule, which means I'm paying off the truck sooner. Um, so I highly advise everybody to do that. I also highly recommend the variable payment plan if you come to this company in orientation they for some reason they highly recommend getting the fixed plan yes the fixed plan is nice because you know exactly what you're making each week you know 100 percent what your deductions are because your truck payment is 738 dollars the downside to that truck payment being 738 dollars is you are stuck with that you know at least for the that term like it's you know you're going to need to do the whole term unless you call into payroll and go hey this week i want you to pay an extra 200 dollars to my truck payment if you're doing the variable plan, you're not paying for the truck payment when you're on, on vacation. I don't know why I keep saying leave. When you're on vacation, you're not paying for the truck payment until you come back. And if you have an escrow account, it's already covered. You can call them and just be like, hey, pull it out of my escrow. You're never going to miss the money because it's what's in there. It's, it's already there for that purpose. It's not coming out of your paycheck because it's already in that escrow account. You're not going to be missing it. Um, so, yeah, I mean... That's that's my paycheck uh, for those three. Now, I know, like I said, they're all different because the first week they didn't take anything out. The second week was a partial week. The third week was not running. This week's also going to be short because I only have Monday and Tuesday on this week. Next week, I will be back to normal, and then I'm going to be messed up again for the next two weeks because I have you know two VA appointments. It's only, you know, I'm only going to be off for one day for one, one day for the other, and the rest of the time I'll be driving. So those two weeks are going to get a little messed up just because of those two days. And then after that, I'll be good to go for pretty much the rest of the year, just running like normal. And then I can give you guys, you know, more updated um, settlement sheets as they come. So, you know, that's all there is to it. Um, there is a guy that's been commenting on my videos, uh, DJ Jones. He is actually in uh, orientation for uh, Land Air right now, the company I drove for um, right before this one. He is also planning on starting to do some videos. I know for sure he's doing a video after his 30 day mark with the company. Um, he wants to get the 30 days down so that he has, you know, a little better window with information in there instead of just one day. Um, but I, I, you know, go ahead and follow, or follow him, you know, just watch a video, see if you like it, then follow him. It's up to you. But, uh, you know, that's just more content for you guys for that company because I've already covered it and I'm not with them. So I'm not covering them anymore. Um, but he can give you, you know, his viewpoints, how he's dealing with the company, how they're working with him. You know, I told him hopefully he gets a, a dispatch team that, you know, he gets along with real well because that's that's a, that's a big part of what makes or break it makes or breaks you being with a company. If you have a shit dispatch team and they're not going to give you a better one, kind of kills it, and you're just like I don't want anything to do with this anymore. Um, so I, I hope everything goes well for him. You know, go ahead and uh, check him out, it's D J Jones. Excuse me. There's some other people um, that are that have gone through orientation there also that have um, messaged me about it. But I, you know, I don't talk to them as much as DJ because DJ goes on there and comments quite a bit, so I can respond to him. So, you know, I know what he's doing a little more. 
Um, if you guys want to, I do have a email set up for you know my trucker side, not my personal email. It's a shadow trucker two one zero at gmail dot com. I do respond on there whenever you guys message me. Whenever I have free time, you know, like right now, I got a couple hours, and uh, usually when I'm stopped at night, I got about an hour or two if I'm not talking to my wife or taking care of you know something else. Um, or you can just keep commenting on the videos, and then you know if you guys can go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like the video, uh, if you think it's uh, helpful and useful. It's not for me, you know. Like I said last time, it's for the algorithm with YouTube. The more likes it has, the more it's recommended as a video for somebody else to watch that's interested in trucking. Um, there's not a whole lot of drivers that are just doing what I'm doing. They're usually doing, you know, videos about their trips and just kind of talking to people and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, I, I would prefer for these to get out to as many people as possible. You know, people get good information from it, learn something, don't get bamboozled by a lot of these companies that are out there. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and follow DJ Jones, see what he's got going on over there. Uh, once he gets a video up, I'll be looking at it myself. Um, the rest of you guys, if you're going into companies and you got, you know, channels you're going to be setting up to do videos and stuff, go ahead and comment in it or comment in it, comment the name of your channel on one of my videos or send me an email with the name of it. And, you know, I'll put it in my videos to, you know, let people know what company you're going with and what your channel name is so that they can get information on those other companies. Um, that's about all I got for you guys today. You know, it's, I'm glad I could finally get this video up there for all you guys that have been waiting for the, the pay to see, you know, that it's, it's actually worth it and how it all works. Uh, you guys take care. Have a good one. Stay safe out there.